This is Infernus, a Void Mythical Champion. Unofficial, this is fan art. Not only did he create this champion, but he also created a new set that hopefully Polarium sees and uh, we get enough eyes on it. And, you know, maybe, you know, you never, you never know how these things work. If you guys remember Cavalax, Cavalax was actually a fan art. Cavalax started out as fan art, guys. Did you guys know that? There was a community contest back in January of 2021, COVID. And um, I, I still remember when they showcased this champion right here, Cavalax. This is what he looked like at first. And I was vibing with him hard. He looked like an absolute monster. I don't know about this porcupine. This was kind of cool, but this one definitely stood out. There was just so much detail involved here. And ultimately it turned into the, the champion the poison champion that we know and love today, Cavalax. Awesome champion, one of my favorite champions, but this is Infernus. By Tim, I was on stream one day and he came to me and he said, hey, uh, I've got this idea for a new champion. I've got this idea for a new set. What do you think? And I was like, I think it's a great thing. And you know, a lot of times, a lot of times people have ideas, but less of the time, people don't actually implement those ideas. People don't actually take action and create those idea. Uh, ideas and manifest those ideas but no by tem actually went out of his way to create this champion i mean take a take a good look at this champion i mean from head to toe he looks like an absolute monster an absolute beast look at the wings he looks like he's from from lord of the rings he looks like like if 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 i saw this guy in lord of the rings coming out of mordor i'd probably like shit my pants and i'd completely just fuck off all the way back to wherever i came from but look at the detail Look at his sword. This looks like it would just shred through somebody. Completely destroy. So much detail. I asked him uh, how he made this. A lot of it was drawing, and he also mentioned that some of it was AI. But nonetheless, this is an amazing champion. Just look at him. So this is actually his mythical form, but this is his base form. So take a look at this. Without the wings, side-by-side -side comparison. Let's do this right here. So this is Infernus in his base form over here on the left, looking pretty sick. The eye is not open. You see that detail? Doesn't have his wings. A little bit sleeker, a little bit more so, what's the word? Um, simpler and cleaner, but it still looks just absolutely mad. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And then over here in his mythical form, when he transforms, he has all the add-ons, the extra effects, the infernal flames popping out, and even the background kind of changed, like the volcano erupted. This is amazing. This is an amazing concept. I don't know if there's a fan art thing going on right now with Polarium, but I do know that sometimes they hold contests to see who can provide a champion from the community to Polarium and then Polarium obviously takes that uh, and turns it into something. Um, but I could definitely see this champion being in raid. What do you guys think? Do you guys think maybe like demon spawn? I feel like he could be a demon spawn. This is called the infernal set. He explained to me a little bit about what's going on here and he also wants your guys' input. So if you guys have any suggestions, maybe on the art, I don't know, this looks already, this already looks like a banger. This, abs this looks like an absolute fucking banger. He looks like an absolute monster. Um, but this right here is up for discussion. This is the Infernal set. It's a nine piece set, probably something that you can farm, I think he said it was. So let's read this at the top. Anti-Blessing Ascension gear boosts. Red stars on artifacts and accessories. So you can ascend artifacts and accessories. He was wondering how could we balance out blessings? Because we all know how blessings uh, play a role, especially in PvP, how you could be like completely OP if you have like a six star blessing. Well, this set right here could probably balance it out. And I, I agree with it. My cat, sorry, my cat is just like wondering who I'm talking to. Will also have the effect to counter blessings where players need those effects the most and or help bring a balance to the PvP experience, which I think is a great idea, right? So. You go in with this set, maybe it's a, a complete four piece or you get the full nine piece because it, it's a, a full nine piece set. And we'll, we'll look at that other stuff uh, in a bit. 
But being able to completely negate Polymorph, for example, or uh, whatever blessing might ail you could bring balance to, to everything. Uh, it's going to be farmable. It's a nine-piece gear set. Four-piece, you have a 30% chance to land HP burn for two turns. Sorry, there's cat hair in my glasses now. Six-piece set ignores 32% of defense. That's absolutely cracked. A full nine-piece set also has a 75% chance to land HP burn for three turns. Hey, look, she wants to say hi. She wants to see what I'm doing. There, now you can be part of the video. A nine full piece set has a 75% chance to land HP burns for three turns. The Infernus gear substats have HP percent, defense, and speed. HP burns, especially early on. If you don't have specific champions to do HP burns, it becomes relatively difficult to um, do things like solo. For an example, Artak or Cronum can solo Ice Golem or uh, Sand Devil, um, Walking Tomb Drang. Ninja can do a lot of damage with his HP burns. Of course, there's activations. Uh, if you want to do Spider Dungeon, the Spider Dungeon, HP burns are especially useful for 21 and up. So not having access to an HP burner, especially early on, could make things rather difficult for you. But this set would uh, help the player base do that. A six piece set. Let's talk about the 32% ignore defense. That seems a little bit cracked. If I'm being honest, I don't think if Pol like let's let's imagine this. OK. Let's say Polarium actually uh, saw this and was like, okay, well, let's take this this concept. Let's just let's just focus on, on the gear set here. Let's take this concept. I don't honestly think they'd go for an, a 32% ignore defense. I think they they might entertain something else. Maybe less percentage, because 32 is pretty cracked, right? This set would be absolutely OP. It would be nice. It would be it would be absolutely nice if uh, we were able to have something like this. But again, this is all theory it's up for discussion and i'm pretty sure by tim's gonna comment in the comment section down below and you guys can even go back and forth with him on this maybe land some suggestions with him talk about it uh, add to the academic conversation of everything so i don't think they're gonna go uh, i don't think uh polarium's gonna go for a full 32 percent ignore defense but you never know they might lessen it to something closer to like 20 percent or below if they were even going to add in ignore defense mechanics because you're already doing hp burns ignoring defense um and then negating blessings if i'm understanding this correctly the anti-blessing ascension is open for discussion so uh, of course you can always talk it over let us know what you think let by tem know what you guys think this is the sword there's by tem right there discord put as a little stamp this is the sword right here, and it looks freaking sick. Look at this right here. You guys seeing that? Amazing work. And here he is side by side. So, concept. For the first Void Mythical boss, has a new targeting system called Go For The Eyes on his second form. Infernus places HP burn debuffs and heals by 15 to 25% of his max HP. Avoid mythical champion. He's gonna be absolutely insane. The next key thing is if Polarium uses any of the ideas brought forth, is for everyone has a chance to unlock and summon Infernus on their roster at a certain attainable level. So right there. Um, by Tem's intent behind putting this out there is to, of course, allow a cracked champion to enter the player base for free to those who are a, a dedicated raider. I think it's a great idea. I think sharing ideas and, and concepts is something that I've always been a huge proponent of because if you never have these discussions, if you never talk about it, they're never brought to light. They're never uh, even thought about at times. So it's important that you guys as individuals share your thoughts, create sick champion. From the great void, Infernus rises made from smoke fish i mean smoke ash and metal what do you guys think some good skills would be for his active and passive so i mean he already talked about having some passives here burns and healing going on but what do you guys think would be good for skills like his a1 
do you think he should place a freeze a, a three percent chance to place or sorry 30 percent chance to place a freeze on the a1 a2 a3 how many skills should he should he have big shout out to bytem for sharing this with me this is an awesome concept and i, I hope they hold a uh, a contest like they did for Cavalax, because this is amazing 